Are we, babe? <laughs> what a giant floating island. <laughs> in the middle of a lake. This is, uh, yeah. We're on the Peruvian side of Lake Titicaca. We left, we left Cusco last night and we arrived in Puno this morning. And we're now on one of the floating reed islands. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Um, it's kind of strange. So they dig up the roots of reeds and then in the wet season, about a metre to three metres down. And then they tie them together because they're massively buoyant, the reeds, the roots of them. And then they cover that with hay and make artificial islands. Well, not hay, reeds. Reeds, more, more reeds. Well, they dry them first, right? They so. And then they make their houses and their beds. So these are the houses. Or well, that's the house. Uh, that's the lookout point because each of the islands has like a... Uh, communication tower, so to speak. I'm not sure what's, what they're building over there. They've got like solar panels and all sorts going on. So you can you can dive out one side and swim underneath the island and come out the other, can't you? <laughs> yeah. But all the islands, if you, so wish. if you will, yeah, if you wanted to, the islands have anchors to stop them floating away. And they have to replenish the reeds every two to three weeks. Yeah. See, we were listening to our... Well, we were listening. Until someone corrects us. Yeah. Um, it's very beautiful. If it's, I, don't, I don't trust that I'm not going to fall through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can also eat the reed. Yeah, you can. What do they call it? Lake de Gaga banana. Because you peel the top of it. I think we've got um, some photos of us trying it. We had a trying it. little nibble. <laughs> it didn't taste like bananas, did it? No. But, yes. It's interesting. Yeah. It's quite cool. You can stay here for about $45 a night or something. So we are on Cap Capital Island now. Yep, Capital Island. Look, it's got a restaurant. It's got restaurants. We've just got our passport stamped, didn't we? Yeah. Thank Which is good fun. Those guys came over on a... Oh, well, whatever those boats were called. Boat. Traditional <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't catch those <laughs> quotation marks you just threw in the air there, Catherine. <laughs> well, you can see the plastic underneath. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, I think I'm delirious. We slept on a bus last night, so <laughs> everything feels a little bit odd. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, this is Lake Titicaca, or Quaca. It means Puma Stone. Titi is Puma, and Caca means stone in the original language, which is. It's my microphone. <laughs> Really old. I can't remember what it was called. It was, it was about five o'clock this morning when this information was being thrown at us. Uh, so yeah, quite nice. That's um, Puno over there in the distance. You should probably get down. No, that's okay. <laughs> We've been up here two minutes now, dear. We should probably climb back down. Let other people have a go.